I want just the knuckleball. Knuckleball? The knuckleball. The knuckleball. Ah, the knuckleball. The elusive technique that few have mastered and many have tried, including me. Yeah. I failed for two and a half years trying all these steps and techniques, like the Gareth Bale high knees approach, or the Ronaldo high on your kicking leg as you step towards the ball. And of course, the cancel follow through. Follow through. Follow through. Follow through. Follow through. Follow through. And sure, I did strike a couple of knuckleballs here and there, but I couldn't really control when and where it would show up. And after trying these various techniques, I, know about this. I realized a very important lesson that would turn out to make all the difference. What I've learned is to not use other people's technique. Seriously. Once I realized this seemingly pointless piece of information, I began focusing my attention away from the technique I had tried to force into my body for so long. Instead, I put that energy into what's happening with the ball, like as you make contact. And by assessing all other knuckleballs and dead balls out there on the internet, despite some techniques looking a little unorthodox, they were still able to generate pretty sublime knuckleballs. And that's when I realized that it's not actually about developing a new technique at all. And in fact, it's about harnessing your own technique by passing a lot of these steps, resulting in a pretty effective knuckleball within just a couple of hours, instead of many years like me. Oh, I got some new boots and some new grip socks to stop those blisters. Good on ya. Thanks to Football Central for kitting me out with these new gems. If you too would like to get your hands on some glue socks, some new boots, or just fancy a bit of a daydream of all the gear they sell on their website, then head to the link below. One, two pairs of glue socks. Yes, please. Well, then use the code thefootballfolk at checkout for almost $20 off. Plus, it's a really good way of supporting the channel. So, thank you. All right. So the knuckleball. Let's start at the end and work our way backwards. To the ball. Well, the goal for an effective knuckleball is to strike it pure, without too much spin so the ball moves unpredictably throughout the air, making it a nightmare for goalies to read and therefore react in time. So how do we strike the ball in that pure, like, fashion? Corsa, Pirlo, Pirlo la well, it comes down to a couple of key factors that we'll get to in just a moment, but for now, we're gonna focus on the ball. And I don't mean the very center of the ball as you see it on the floor here. In fact, I would stay away from that point of contact and instead focus your attention a little bit lower on the ball. And from there, that will help generate the lift. Otherwise, if you are striking to that midsection of the ball, it's not gonna lift off the ground. But let's come back to what I said earlier and striking through the very center of the ball. And hopefully this will all start to make sense. So the ball is obviously round. Yeah, nice one. But with that in mind, if your foot connects with, say, this part of the ball, if you drew a line to the opposite side, it goes through the direct center of the ball. Same if you connected, say, here. A straight line to the opposite side is this point. That's our goal in striking the ball in that pure, like, fashion. In order to generate a knuckleball, or a ball with limited spin, you need to strike directly through the center of the ball. And that is all and hopefully you can start to see how the technique is perhaps not as important. Instead, you wanna focus a lot more on how you're connecting with the ball and that will help prevent a lot of wasted time in developing your knuckleball technique. So by understanding this principle, what are some of the other elements you can use to get the most out of your current technique and actually strike a knuckleball? Well, the first would be the run-up. Don't worry about the amount of steps or being on your toes. Just make sure you're at an angle where you can strike comfortably through the center of the ball. Too angled of a run up might be a little tricky and will cause too much spin on the ball, especially if you're just starting out. So look for a straighter run up where you can naturally swing, piercing through the center of the ball. The second thing to consider is using a hard part of the foot. However, this is not essential. Basically using the hard part of your foot just equals more power. I tend to use sort of the ankle area, which is a large, somewhat flat surface to punch the ball. And don't worry too much about the angle of your foot when it makes contact with the ball, because remember, all techniques are welcome. The last thing to consider is the follow through. So you'll hear the concept of canceling the follow through. 
And whilst that is sometimes good advice, I find that it does confuse a lot of players and results in a bad connection with the ball. This is the strangest technique ever. So instead, focus on what we said earlier and driving through the very center and the heart of the ball in a nice, even straight line from the point that you make the contact. Really important. Once your foot has released contact with the ball, that's when you can do whatever you want. Cancel the follow through, hop onto the kicking leg, or if you really want, completely rotate your foot to the opposite direction and say hi to the camera. Looks really painful, but I mean, this kid has some of the best knuckleballs I've seen, so it's clearly working for him. Basically, use what fundamentals you already have developed and look to weave the knuckleball into your current technique. Don't change your technique to work with what you think the knuckleball should look like. And with that mindset, you'll develop the technique in no time and before you know it, you'll be scoring some bangers. But wait, what if it's not powerful enough? Well then that's probably down to your kicking leg not being straight enough on the point of contact. And this video right here will break down the fundamentals of shooting so that you can shoot with power every single time, regardless of your technique. Plus, it also works with a knuckleball. So, we're winning.